Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 10 of the Leaco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Oh, oh, oh. Let me know what you think about today's prom, 950 review cards in increasing order. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video that I uh, did on my other channel, Looking Up. Uh, yeah, I mean, although to be honest, if you have been watching this channel, I do talk about it from time to time, but here it is in one video, what to do, how do you, like what your what should be your approach on solving a problem in general? Uh, I I intend to do more of these in the next. I don't know as much as many as ideas as I get. Uh, so definitely check that out. And also, if you have a, uh, well, one is that you know come to Discord, hang out. But two is also if you have questions that you think would make a good topic, let me know. But I may not get to it because I I actually uh, I I refuse to start it start the channel until I have like a list of 20 things to talk about. So otherwise, you know, I don't want to be that guy who's like, oh, I'm out of ideas. Let me say something racist to get clicks because, you know, some people seems to be doing that. All right. Uh, the other thing that I want to talk about very quickly is, uh, is anyone watching the, the chess championship? The, or the well, oh, whoops, I misspoke. The candidates for the chess championship, right? I don't know what the official, but man, I just watched the, uh, I don't know. I, I need to figure out what to do with my time a little bit better because I, I watched the um, the Akaru game, the Akaru Ali Fuasa game, and it took like six hours. I'm like, what am I doing? Just watch the recap, Larry. But but it was very exciting. It came literally down to the second. So, oh man, that second. And wow, what an ending. All right. Anyway, all right, let's actually look at this farm. <laughs> this one, you know, let me know in the comments if you, you're farming chess or the candidates or the championship and let me know who you're rooting for. Uh, cool. I mean, it's like, is it the, I mean, it, there is, there are a lot of, uh, there are a couple of very young Indians in the, uh, in the Canada, so it's very exciting to see. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, all right, let's take a look. 950 review cards in increasing order. You're given an integer array deck. There are a deck of cards every, there is a deck of cards where every card has a, is a, has a, what? I cannot read today. Apparently, there is a deck of cards where every card has a unique integer. The integer on the i card is deck sub i. Okay, you can order the deck in any order you want. Initially, all the cards are face start face down, unrevealed in one deck. You will do the re following steps repeatedly until all the cards are revealed. Know, I'm just trying to do my magician thing because I'm thinking about cards. Take the top card of the deck, reveal it, and take it out of the deck. If if there are still cards in the deck. Then put the next top card of the deck at the bottom of the deck. If there's still unrevealed cards, go back to step one. Otherwise, stop. Return an ordering of the deck that would reveal the cards in increasing order. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, you take the top card there, reveal it, and then take out the deck. And then you put the next top card on the bottom of the deck. Okay. And then you want to reveal the deck in increasing order. Hmm. That is interesting. The first thing I want to see is the number of the cards, and it's a thousand. What does a thousand mean, right? I mean, this is very similar to our idea before. Um, and when I say before, I mean like yesterday, where you have, uh, maybe it was two days ago, the, the number of students unable to eat lunch or, you know, something with a queue, right? And I don't have an answer for this yet immediately, but what this is saying is that, okay, you follow these steps, Maybe you could say one uh, cycle or one operation. It's not a mathematical term. You just, you know, uh, um, one, yeah, yeah. So you have one operation, right? One function of this thing and return some thing. So then what happens, right? And then now you want to reverse it so that, um, are these numbers unique? Okay, they are unique. Oh, I think I mentioned it, but... So you want to find the reverse operation of it, right? So simulation is not going to help because, or at least not directly, because we want to find the opposite. Uh, um, an opposite, um, what do you call it? Operation, right? And maybe you can and take a look at these things and guess. Um, but the way that I'm going to do it is just to play around with what this algorithm gives us. And there are two ways. Um, there may be more more than two ways, but there are a couple many ways to do this. The way that I'm doing it is by simulating it, right? So what I'm going to do is just to kind of get myself an, a sense of what's up, right? So basically, maybe I would write something like 
um, x for x is in the range of I don't know 100 so we we put in 100 cards we want to write this simulation right so actually maybe this should be a cube or a deck sorry deck cube something like this right so then while length of deck is greater than zero we take the top card right top left okay so <coughs> take the and then we if there's still cards then we I think there's like a someone told me there's one operation on this but maybe I'm wrong about this I don't know right so someone like this right <clears throat> if length of deck is still greater than zero right so then now so the purpose of this is just to allow me to see what happens right so this is the the answer of shuffling th this code um, for 100 elements right and uh, the question is can I figure out what pattern this is or maybe reverse it, right? You can kind of see that, um, okay. You can kind of see that the first half makes sense. It's going to be all the even numbers because it's the first time for the deck. And then now, or is it even numbers? Hmm, why is 50? Oh, no, oh. We, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not up to 50 because there's 100 cards. There's 150 even numbers, which goes up to 98. And then after that is recursively, right? Every second card as well, more or less. So then now it's one five nine da 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 da, and then half of that, and then half of that. So that means that half the cards will, will get. I mean, this part makes sense because if you just think of it, of it another way, half the cards are removed on the first iteration, um, second half in the second iteration, second half, or half of the second half. And then, so like, it goes like one half, one fourth, one eighth, and so forth, right? Now, what does that tell us? Hmm. <clears throat> well, that tells us that, oh, I, I think I'm trying to figure out too hard what to do with this one. It, But, okay, so, actually, yeah, I, I know how to do it now. So, um... There are a couple of things you can do with this one, right? The idea here is now, okay, let's say n is equal to length of deck, and then now you have n, right? What is the complexity on this one, right? And it turns out the complexity of this thing will be n log n, right? Because, like I said, the first, first loop, it's going to take all of n times, and then you have only half the deck left, and then the next uh, loop is going to be n over 2, n over 4, dot, dot, dot. So it's going to be n plus n over 2 plus n over 4 plus dot, 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 which is... Actually, did I say n log n? Wow, I am bad at math. So this is actually all of n, right? Because it's just 2n, 2 times n. Okay. For, sorry for that. Oh. Uh, I don't know how I get messed that up. But, yeah, well, maybe I didn't think before I say it. Or I didn't think it through before saying it. My bad. So it's actually it's linear time, right? So this code is linear time, it turns out, because of the recurrence that we talked about. But this is why, you, you know, when you know math, you can misremember things and be like, oh, no, the math is saying this, right? Okay. But then now, what do we want to do? And how does this help us solve the answer? Well, the thing is that now we just have to do this in reverse, right? Meaning that what do I how do I say it precisely and also maybe just get it correctly? Um, oh, yeah, 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 okay, right. So we know that after one iteration, this happens, right? So that means that. We can do, um, I want to say I want to do reverse mapping, but that maybe that's not quite enough. Am I wrong? Hmm. No, I mean, yeah, no. So then now you have this mapping of the indexes on N, right? And then you can kind of do a reverse mapping to figure out what, what they're looking for, right? So um, I don't think I said that quite right. But basically, now here instead of 
Oh, yeah, well, okay, I can't call this deck. Sorry. <laughs> Let's call old deck is equal to deck. <laughs> uh, whoops. Uh, original deck. Uh, whoops, I, I don't know why I wrote it this way. But in any case, yeah. <clears throat> so now we know that, for example, the first card in the original deck is going to be in the zero position. The second, the third card in the original deck is going to be in the second position and so forth, right? So then now to reverse this operation, well, we just re reverse this thing, right? So then that means that here we have this mapping and we know that it maps from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I think, to this. So then now we're just trying to find the reverse mapping, which is this thing back to back to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? And of course, maybe you could come up with a function for this, but like a like a algorithmic function for this. But you already have this function, right? Because this function is just this lookup. 0 goes to 0, 2 goes to 1, 4 goes to 2, and so forth. And then, of course, the numbers here are not the same as these numbers, but we know the rev relative position, so that's good enough, right? So yeah, so then now we can do reverse lookup is you go to da, 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 right? And then now uh, this is, eh, it's not really the answer, I know. Eh. Eh. Eh, 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 eh. Maybe shuffled? Say. Oh wait, no, this is deck. Yeah, right? And then now for index x in enumerate shuffled, <coughs> Right? Yeah. And then now, now that we have this lookup, all we have to do is apply it to the original deck. And then there we go. Right? So here. Oh, wait. Okay. And then now we have to sort the original deck so that you get it in original order. And then now we put where we put in, right? So then here. So then for, um, hmm, what am I foring? So we want to convert the ordering. So yeah, just from I to N, right? So then now the dex sub I, or not dex sub I, um, or answers of something is going to be dex sub I maybe? Right? And there you go. Maybe, maybe I, I got, maybe I swapped this one. Oh, oh, I meant original deck. Eh. Original sin. Uh hmm. How did I look, mess this up? Oh, look up. Oh, 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 no. Hmm. Let me print this out real quick. Maybe I made some silly mistakes, but that's basically the idea: is that you explicitly calculate the reverse. Um, oh, oh, oh! This I'm dumb. I'm dumb. This should be an. Uh, yeah, okay. Huh? Did I mess that up? Maybe I messed this up. I I I, I didn't know which way it would be. Hmm. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Whoops. The reverse lookup of the original deck, that's right. Yeah. Um, and maybe I didn't need this after all. I could just do, have done it in a pen. Yeah, well, whatever, it's fine. Right? That's basically the idea. Um, yeah. So the idea here uh, for this problem is that... Um, let me rewrite it in another way to explain it a little bit, right? So here, maybe you could say you have de a function deck, and then you have some f of a function that gives us, I don't know, some some other function, right? Or we we did we we want to op we operate this deck which gives you some other deck results, right? That's as it ends. And then now we're trying to figure out the the inverse operation of answer to get us back what deck order should be. And instead of maybe figuring out an algorithm for it, we just look up the reverse, or we just calculate the reverse lookup by mapping instead. 
because here, in a way, shuffled is index mapping to x. So then now we're mapping x back to index in the reverse pointing thing. And here we saw the original deck. Um, we, we, and then we're able to do the reverse lookup of the index for that way. So, okay, so what's the complexity here, right? Um, like I said, th this part is O of n, this part, or this part is O of n, but there is an n log n, so it's going to be dominated by the n log n. And this is O of n, which is the size of the output anyway, but I mean, yeah. So it's going to be O of n time, O of n space, oh, except for the sorting, so O of n log n time, right? But yeah, what did I do last time? Yeah, I guess I did it the same way, except I wrote it much cooler. Hmm. Yeah, I did the same lookup. I just kind of did it in a cooler way. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, do your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.